Hello, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got Urban Dictionary today, so let's start. Ticket Bastard, another word for ticket master. A monopoly that is in the tickets, selling and distribution business. Also see Bastard. The band Pearl Jam Boy cottage venues run by Ticketmaster in 1994 and filled them their own fair business practice for suit against the giant because of their monopolizing ways their name is synonymous with ticket bastard ticket bastard huh. upside down smiley face you're hiding your pain behind a smile representing a sense silliness or goofiness used in an ambiguous as an ambiguous emotion such as joking or sarcasm upside down smiley face has many definitions commonly used for silliness but watch out how the person you're speaking to uses it those seem like very accurate definitions. Very well done. Real one. Someone who is blunt. Someone that keeps it true to whomever they keep around. Being a hundred. Someone who is so, a solid individual. Someone who is dedicated and loyal. Man, that woman right there is a real one. I asked her for some question, personal questions and she kept it 100%. And she kept, she kept 100 about it all. Nice. Walking children in nature. A f phrase coined by Rolf Rufau's Drag Race, Constant Tommy Brown during season one's reunion episode. Turn off your goddamn computer and go walk children in nature. You go call me losers and I don't see you out there walking children in nature. Tommy Brown. But what does it represent? What the, what's the definition of it? What does it mean? Or is it just something that has been said? You all call me losers and I don't see you out there walking children in nature. Because they're losers as well. Because they don't have children. Anyway. Friends court. A completely platonic relationship. Defined by the act of accomplishing, accompanying Another in a dangerous or awkward situation. This is a, it is a combination of the words friend and escort. It was originally used by improv actors in St. Louis, Missouri to indicate an intent to traverse Cherokee Street without peril. Will you be, please be a friend escort to my car? Friend escort to my car. There were some wing nuts in the parking lot. Or I'll friend escort you to the Justin Bieber, Bieber concert so you won't book out of place because there will be another 30 year old guy there hmm. stealth parody stealth parody is a parody that comes across in purpose pur support purports a par stealth parody is a parody that comes across in purports itself to be the real thing often appropriators or self parody website or group will flat out deny that they are in fact a parody stealth parodies are often created by people who will with completely opposite views that the alleged parody contains, and the parody has been created to discredit it, discredit the group that holds the opposing views. Organizations such as organizations such as Conversapedia, Conversa, Conservapedia, and the Flat Earth Society are often. The world is flat. You don't really believe that. You're just a troll. Stealth parody. And they're kind of joking. Hmm. I kind of understand what that means. Feck. It was originally a slang term used in Ireland to mean either a tall, a to steal or to throw. It's also used as a mild, pretty mild swear world in Warden Island. It's used uh, to express that you're pissed off or be to describe somebody who pissed you off. It's not related to the word fuck and doesn't mean any sexual undertone, so it's acceptable, acceptable for polite company. The characters in the sitcom Father Ted made the word use the use of feck more popular outside of Ireland, most noticeably, noticeably in the United Kingdom. Unlike, unlike what a lot of people think, the scriptures Scriptwriters did not invent fact to get past centers, centers who didn't allow the word fuck. In fact, fact was used as a mild swear word long, long before Father Ted made it obvious, famous. They had fact cash out of the rector's room from Joyce's 
James Joyce's portrait of the artist as a young man. Biggie asked me for a loan of my basketball, so I faked it across the yard to him. Hey, f priest, feck. Ah, feck, I left my keys at home. Police ladies, that's an awful shame. That bouncer was the right old fecker for not all letting us in. Father Jack, drink, feck, ass, girls. So it's like a... A... Uh, uh, an appropriate swear word. An appropriate word to use when you can't swear. Okay, so that'll do. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to. Do any of those, uh, those things if you want to. This has been Space Cap AFP with another video. Hope you like it. And until next time. Until then. Bye-bye.